I'm Nikki Fraser with Blissy Botanics. Today I'm going to be making sunscreen. My kids were sent home Monday from daycare with a good reminder that we needed to send home or send to daycare some sunscreen. So it was time to whip up a batch. So I'm going to be using some non nano zinc oxide. There's going to be some mango butter, shea butter. cocoa butter, cold pressed virgin coconut oil, beeswax, vitamin E, and some raspberry leaf oil, or raspberry seed oil, sorry. And then I'm going to have my containers to put them in. And I've got my pot of water boiling right here. And then I've got, this is just um, to make a double boiler. So that's going to go on. I'm going to put all the ingredients in there. And then, so I've already sprayed this with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure that everything is sterile. And I've got my spatula to mix it all, or actually a little whisk. And a few measuring spoons because I have everything already pre-measured out, except for the zinc. The zinc needs to go in at the end. Um, and because of the way zinc is, you really shouldn't be breathing it in, so I want to keep it in the bag for as long as possible. So I have the water starting to boil back up. It cooled down a little bit more than I wanted it to. Um, but what we're going to start with is the cocoa butter. So I have, so and everything is measured out by weight. This is the scale that I use uh, just to measure everything out. I put on my jar. I tear it out and then I put my ingredients in until I have the amount that I want. So really easy. Everyone should have a digital scale um, because it is a lot better to be measuring out your ingredients by weight instead of volume. Um, especially when we're dealing with things such as cocoa butter and mango and shea and beeswax. You know it comes in really hard chunks so it's really hard to measure like is this one tablespoon or two tablespoons. Um, that type of thing. So that's where measuring it out in weight makes it a lot easier. And having it broken down into smaller pieces than this is actually easier also. So this might take a little bit longer to melt. So I'm going to start by putting in, so I have 15 grams of cocoa butter, 20 grams of mango, sorry, of shea butter, 15 grams of mango butter, Okay, 16 grams of beeswax. So these are just nice little pellets, I'll show you, um, so that they are easier to measure out by tablespoons, um, these ones here. So I'm just putting all of these in. I'm gonna wait on the coconut oil because it doesn't take quite as long. But, and I'm just going to start letting these melt down. So while this is melting down, um, I'll just go a little over some of the benefits of the of this sunscreen. So the ingredients are all natural, which makes it really nice that it can be used for babies. A lot of times we're, you know, they caution against using any kind of sun protection on babies because of the products in it. Um, so this is all natural. You don't have to worry about it. I do not use essential oils in my sunscreen, uh, in my sun protection cream, because if I do use it on babies, um, you know, essential oils shouldn't be necessarily used on very young children. So another great benefit of this sunscreen is that it does glide on very smooth. Um, so this is one that I've made in the past. Actually, well, this is one I made earlier this week to bring to my boys' daycare and school. Um, so and if you just look, so I'm just gonna put it in. So it kind of just glides on nice. It's not super white or anything like that. Um, very nourishing for the skin. And so makes it really easy that they can put it on themselves, especially my oldest who's in JK and doesn't, uh, you know, teachers aren't allowed to put anything on them. So he can put his on himself. Um, this is for my youngest one in daycare and they, they put that on them uh, before they go outside. So really nice. All right, so now this is, pretty much done melting. 
is going to put in my coconut oil. So this is pretty much melted down. So I'm going to remove it from the heat just so that we don't change the chemical makeup of any of the oils or the waxes or the butters. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of vitamin E. So about half a teaspoon. I'm just going to pop that down. So it is pure vitamin E is pretty thick. And now I'm going to add in my raspberry seed oil. So this is what gives the best SPF. Um, it can be anywhere from you know 25 to 50 SPF. Oops, so I'm gonna pop that off. And I'm going to be adding in two teaspoons of raspberry seed oil. Two. Just mix that in. If it does ever start to solidify or harden up a little bit because it's cooling down, you can always just put it back on top of your pot of boiling water also. So now comes the zinc. Um, so this is where you know you want to be a little extra cautious because you don't want to breathe it in. So I typically have you know those um, masks when you go to the doctors or anything like that. It's like if you have a cough, please put on one of these masks. I have a couple of extra of those typically hanging around the house. Um, of course, today I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to breathe through a cloth as I do it. Kind of works as the same way. So I'm going to grab my tablespoon and I'm going to be putting in two tablespoons of non nano zinc. And you want to kind of mix it around. So the other thing, I also just, because it's a little harder, I just going to hold my breath while I do it. So mixing in the first. And mixing in just the second tablespoon. It's more so if it's when you're taking your in and out. You just don't want to breathe that in and get it um, too deep into your organs. So you really want to mix this for a while because a lot of times it looks like it's mixed in, but it actually has just settled down at the bottom of your bowl. So I'm going to continue mixing, 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 really making sure it's mixed in thoroughly. So all of these ingredients do have their own SPF, so like I was saying. Um, so the red raspberry seed oil has the highest SPF, and that is um, really important to put in. And so is the zinc oxide. The zinc oxide actually has the um, really high SPF and what gives it that little, that protection. Um, and why you want to find the non-nano the non one? Because uh, that is, uh, it won't be absorbed into your bloodstream. Um, so that's why, you know, when we hear, you know, you, I don't want a sunscreen with zinc or aluminum in it, um, or products with zinc sometimes is, because uh, you don't want it to be absorbed, you don't want he extra heavy metals absorbed into your bloodstream, uh, but the non-nano one um, won't be absorbed. So this looks to be pretty good. So I'm going to. So I'm now going to start pouring it into my containers. So just gently pouring it in.
always been discreet. All right, now that it's all poured in, what you want to do is just leave it uh, to dry or to set, cool off. Um, so just kind of walk away. If you want it to solidify even faster, you can pop it in the fridge for a couple hours and that'll help speed up the process. Um, so again, just to show you, you know, some of the, the leftover on the bowl. Um, so this is what it is. So it is liquidy now because it's, it's wet still. Um, and if I were to just put that on, so it's going on a little bit white, but it does go in very smooth um, and completely transparent. Like I said, so there's SPF in all of the ingredients, um, and this typically makes anywhere, because it is a range, because it's natural ingredients, um, I would say anywhere between a 25 and 50, um, depending on, you know, the zinc, the, the red raspberry seed oil, the shea butter, the mango butter, the coconut oil, they all have SPF in them, adding to it. So that's my sunscreen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of future videos. Please check out my Facebook page and to, for more safety tips, recipes, videos that I like to post, uh, check out my website, Blissfully Botanics, and leave me a comment with how this sunscreen worked for you. Have a great day. Bye.